Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Say hi. No. Oh. <laughs> Addie's not in a very happy mood. Um, so this morning we're going to be making our fresh pasta dough. So I'll make the dough this morning now and then um, we'll let it rest for a little bit. And then I'll show you how to roll it out as well. And then um, this afternoon we're going to use this pasta dough to make um, pumpkin and ricotta cannelloni. So um, if you want to see the whole process, tune in. I'll be making the pumpkin and ricotta cannelloni on um, Facebook this afternoon. Um, but we're doing the pasta and the rolling out here on Instagram. So I'm going to get straight into my recipe. So we're going to... Do you want to no. sit up here and help me? No. Sit here? No, what? No. It's okay, look. Can you press the button? Look, I'll help you. on our fresh pasta dough. Yeah, that's an egg. And we're going to press start cooking. So first up, we're going to put 200 grams of um, plain flour into the thermomix. Addy, no, they're not cooked. So you can't hold them. Okay, so we're going to put our flour in. Addy, do you want to help? you want to help me? Watch out your legs. Tuck. Okay, ready? Can I put this in here? Ready? Can you help me? You need to do 200. Okay, you do this one. Tip it. Good job. And a little bit more. There we go. That's perfect. Now put the lid on. <laughs> Daddy wants to be very hands on this morning, so we'll see how this goes. I'm going to do the next step. Can you press this button? No. Press. Look, ready? I'll help you. Press. Press. No. Okay, I'll do it then. Okay, now we need to put in our two eggs. No, eggs. Two eggs. So we've done our flour, and now we're doing two eggs. Tough them on. Tough them on. <laughs> Addy, that's not nice when you scream. Ew. Yucky. Okay, so we've got our flour and two eggs, and now we're going to put in one tablespoon of olive oil. So I'm just going to bring up my scales, and I'm just going to put in around 20 grams. There we go. Make sure I put that lid on because Addie's here. Um, okay, so now we're going to pop our mixing bowl lid on with our measuring cup, and that's going to need for two minutes. So, um, making your own pasta is super simple in terms of ingredients. All, like, as we saw, all we did was flour, egg, and oil. Um, and that's just going to knead away now for two minutes just to combine all of the ingredients. Um, when it's finished, it will look very crumbly. So I'll show you what it looks like, but it does combine together when you, when you push it into a bowl and let it rest. And as it rests, up, that oil will come out and make it more um, easier to work with. Okay. So can you hop down on here, please? Yes. Okay, just stand up here. Thank you.
but personally fresh pasta to me just tastes so good um so i love i love making it myself Okay, dough will appear crumbling. Transfer dough onto a lightly floured silicone mat or surface and shape into a ball. So we'll do that now. So just like I was saying, it's very crumbly looking, um, but that's what it's supposed to look like. So we will turn it now out onto our mat, just scraping down any of the sides. using my spatula to get it out without it going everywhere. So, um, as you can see, there's a bit of residue in the bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop a little bit of water in there and pop on our pre-clean while I prepare the dough. So it says to transfer onto the mat and shape into a ball. Um, wrap in a silicone mat and allow to rest for 15 minutes and then we carry on with the recipe. So I'll go home and swipe across my pre-clean, pop on my lid and turn that to clean for me while I'm preparing our dough. Hey Maria, good morning. Mr. Snap, Mr. Start, what are we making? We're making fresh pasta dough this morning, um, which if you haven't made it before, the cookie dough recipe is very very basic, we've just put in flour, 200 grams of flour, two eggs and a tablespoon of oil. Um, and so we've just turned it onto our, onto our um, silicon mat and we're just going to pop it into a bowl. Um, so now I'm just getting, preparing it into a bowl. Do you want some help? Can you come and say, say hi Addy? Um, so we're just rolling it into a ball and then we're going to um, set it aside to rest for 15 minutes um, and then I'll be jumping back on to show you how we roll it out and um, what the process is with that. So we've got our pasta dough um, rolled into a ball. There's a few variations to the recipe. Um, I didn't have any spinach to use. I've got to go pick up my groceries um, when Cohen wakes up but you can also pop spinach into your pasta dough which obviously makes your pasta green but you're getting that extra dose of um, greens as well which is awesome um, you've made your own pasta but not in the thermi you have to give it a go it's super easy you just pop all of the ingredients in and it needs for two minutes and then you've got your dough ready to go all right so i'm going to wrap this in the mat now we're going to wrap this one abby excuse me beep, beep. Pop off, please. So we wrapped our dough and we'll let that rest for 15 minutes and then I'll jump back on and show you guys how we um, roll it out. I'll be using my pasta press um, and just showing you how easy it is to do that as well. So um, if anyone has any questions please let me know um, and I'm happy to chat. So thanks guys and I'll be back on shortly. Bye.